Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, how to perform in your fursuit when it's geared towards the audience. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind, uh, one of which is public versus non-public fursuiting. Now non-public fursuiting I mean like in front of a YouTube channel or in a con space which is semi-public events and um, the other is public. Now I'm going to gear more towards public because um, that's kind of what a lot of the questions I've been having is about public suiting and experiences about public suiting. So one of the things you have to, to deal with, regardless of the in environment, is how does it appear to everybody else? Now, like I said, I have all of my, my earlier videos about, you know, ears, eyes, and mouth, and um, that's all great. But how does everything appear? How does it all appear to you? Like, does it, does it really um, grasp the attention of people? Now, when you're walking through a public space, um, it's going to be a little different. People will gradually be drawn to things that are new and different to them. That's, that's what's cool about first sitting is it, it kind of makes people chuckle, kind of makes people um, interested and like curious. It uh, does lots of different things for very diff various, various age groups and people. So um, when you're interacting with people, please, 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 please be careful. Um, make sure that the person actually wants to be interacting with you. Now, just because they drift to you doesn't mean that they want to be with you uh, or, or, you know, around you. And, and so one of the things I would suggest you do is if you're not keen on how to deal with body language is look at my video on body language. There's a lot of key things in there, one of which is feet direction. If their feet are pointing towards you, they are interested in being around you. If their feet are not pointing towards you, they'd rather you go away. Now, other things like uh, tone of voice and other things like that will play into interacting with the audience. However, um, it's all dependent on situation. So, are there lots of kids around? Are the, are the kid, parents pushing the kids towards them? Are the, are the parents just kind of walking by? Uh, various different things. And they make a comment. Do they want you to turn to them? If, they, if you, they didn't want you to turn to them and you did anyway, how do you know how to get away from that? That's why you should watch the body language video because I explain certain things about that. It really, really helps. It'll help you in your career and it'll help you along in pursuiting as well. So um, the overall thing you need to keep in mind is did you leave it on a positive note? Now. I've explained about how to deal with kids, getting down to their level, um, really, really, uh, you know, engaging uh, the audience. However, uh, sometimes you just want to step back and move away from that. Um, that you know, there's certain do's and don'ts about dealing with kids. Just, and there are specific do's and don'ts about uh, dealing with um, adults. Uh, so, all in all, what uh, it comes down to is um, leaving a positive impression. You can do anything, absolutely anything. You could stand in one place, and as long as you leave a positive impression, you did a good job to the audience. It really is that simple. Um, so, like, that's pretty much it. Um, and so, I'm going to leave you with this one question. Well, really, it's more like a, um, a request. Uh, I want you guys to go do something positive for someone else, and um, over the course of the week, um, from the time you watch this, right? And uh, tell me about what you did in the comments below and uh, um, what it was and how you feel like it may have affected that person. So um, that's pretty much it, and I hope to see you guys next time. Remember to uh, subscribe and like and share and all that jazz. Have a good day.